our intro is just gonna be like this stupid footage of us just like getting our shit together. Well, that's because we're trying to get our shit together. Hello! Hi! We are back with more snacks again. It is snack box time. So pumped because I'm very hungry. <laughs> which snack box is it? Universal Yum. Round three! Yeah! Universal Yum sends you international snacks centered around one particular country every single month. Um, we subscribe to the mid-tier box, which is the Yum Yum box. Yep. Um, we'll link their website down below if you want to take a look. Um, very well priced. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to jump into this month, which is... Russia! Yeah! Super excited for this. We've got, uh, we have 13 snacks from Russia today. All right, so what is our first snack of the day? All right, so first up is a boiled milk and chocolate cake crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. As you can see from the packaging, I cannot read this. <laughs> um, Let's give it a shot. I like cake. Cheers. She looks beautiful. Mmm. That tastes just like a caramel ding dong from Hostess or something. Yeah, like it's better. It's like a little Debbie. Yeah. The chocolate is like a Swiss cake roll. So as always, we're gonna be using our emoji rating scale. We rate these on three different emojis. Either really great, extraordinary, wow, meh, or just okay. Or I did not eat this in my life. Okay. Yeah, so what do we think of the mystery brand? Russian Boiled chocolate milk, milk thing. chocolate cake. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'm a fan. I'm sure we all guessed that. We obviously yeah. love that. That was very good. Yeah, it was delicious. It's healthy for your taste buds. Next is another chocolatey treat, which mm -hmm. uh, Russia, you are playing to my heart with this chocolate. This is a ripe pear milk chocolate bar. Um, this is rich milk chocolate with an ooey gooey pear filling, particularly because Russia is home to an extra sweet, highly sought after pear known as the Krasulia, which translates to beauty. They're, I'm they're scared. Really cute little sections, I'm enjoying that. I'm pear scared. Oh, it's like a jelly filling. I don't know how I feel about that. So the filling is like, if you ever get like a Russell Stover chocolate box, and there's stuff inside, mm -hmm. it's way more chocolate than pear. Yeah. Which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. yeah. I'm leaning towards this, yeah. the more me, the pear comes up. For me, this falls into the category of, I don't want to buy this again and eat it for myself, but I would buy this as a gift. Because it's not bad, it's just weird and I don't necessarily like it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we're moving right along from the sweet to the savory to the Sovetsky cheese potato chips made with the absurdly addictive Russian cheese. So I guess Sovetsky is not the brand, it's the type of cheese. And? Yeah, and we would tell you- we would tell you, oh, they do smell good. We would tell you the name of the brand, but again. We don't know it. <laughs> we don't know it. Cheers. That looks like a standard chip. I just taste like cheesy potatoes. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm with it. This is all I want every cheddar potato chip to taste like. That's, oh. I mean, do you have to guess three, two, one, yes. Yeah, obviously we love them. Yes, they're so good. Every, <laughs> take notes, please. Take notes. Yeah. For real. It's like cheese, but it's not like cheddar powder. Mm -hmm. So good. It's got a little bit of the sweetness to it. It tastes like those cheese mixed into the potato before it gets pounded out into the chip shape. Yeah. All right, so we're moved from the savory back to the candy store staples, as Universal mm -hmm. Yums calls this section. Um, we're going to a wafer. This is the white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. And if you watch our videos before, you know we love wafer snacks. Yeah, they're awesome. And these are not what I thought they would look like. Yeah, these are cute. They're like the wafer version of a Toblerone bar. They look like um, Kinder Bueno, mm -hmm. but not covered in chocolate. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. I'm gonna just bite mine. Mmm. 
Oh, it's like filled with stuff. Yeah. Goodness. It is literally, if you've ever had a Kinder Bueno bar, it is that without the chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I like it more. I think I like a Kinder Bueno more. That's, that is literally one of my favorite Kinder uh, candy bars. Shout out to the Kinder Bueno. Okay. Thoughts? Three, two, one. I'm with it. It's good. No, I mean, I would that's eat awesome. It. Yeah. The next candy store staple that they have for us are the exotic fruit jellies. And these little guys, if you look at our close up, they look like they're hard candies, uh, but they feel. They're squishy. Very squishy. Yep. <laughs> so we have these in three different flavors. Um, so we're gonna try all three. Yep. This first one is called strawberry pepper, which makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. It, it is like not a gummy, but no. like, yeah, it's a jelly, I guess. I guess that's what a jelly is. I'm gonna bite it. Oh. I mean, it bites, it has body to it. It's mm -hmm. not a jelly. All right, it's not a gummy. I don't taste pepper. Do you? I think so. I mean, there's something there besides the strawberry. The next um, one that we have, we had two of the strawberry uh, peppers, but we only have one of the other two flavors. So we're gonna be splitting the black currant mint first. Cheers. The problem is I really mm. like black currant, but I don't like the mint. Mm. No, that's awesome. That tastes like a black currant mojito. It does kind of taste like a mojito. <laughs> I'm, I'm with that one. Yeah. All right, and then the last one we're gonna split is the ripe mango. Cheers. Mango for the win. Yeah, that's super mango. It don't, it's almost just like eating a mango too because it mango is. has a similar body, like a similar consistency. Yeah. Okay, overall. Thoughts on the jellies? Three, two, one. Boom. Yeah, they're good. Even. Boom, boom, boom. All of them were good. They're the strawberries, good. okay. Strawberries, okay. Black currants, okay. Mango was good. Mango was good. Mango was the best, though. Yeah. All right, we're staying in the candy family with some coconut and white chocolate hazelnut balls. Um, these are a creamy, nutty luxury. And to me, I don't know about you guys, these look like white chocolate Ferrero Rochers. Yeah, 100%. But why are we pairing it with white chocolate? <laughs> white chocolate's good. It's fine. Oh, the coconut totally saves it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, does that coconut save it. It is not a Ferrero Rocher. No. Texture-wise it is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of similar texture-wise. Well, yeah. Pretty good, thoughts? Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, I'm for it. Yeah, it's still white chocolate, so it's not my favorite. Um, But the coconut, Coconut did some work. <laughs> this is when it's gonna get weird. For real. These are the Bolete, Bolete? Mushroom Bread Bites. Mm -hmm. Taste Russia's award-winning wild mushrooms. I just don't know why it's a mushroom flavor crouton. All right, here we go. That is super mushroomy. This just tastes like bread dipped in cream of mushroom soup or something. That is exactly what it tastes like. Mm hmm I want like a bigger piece of that on a French onion soup. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. No. This is delicious if you like mushrooms. I will eat them. Oh, she won't. I'll eat them. I don't need them. <laughs> we interrupt this moment to bring you a catacorn water break. Yes, and while we're having our Catacorn water break, please remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, tell us any other subscription boxes you think that we should do, etc. Okay, if I've learned anything from these boxes, or this particular box, it is that uh, hazelnut or nuts and chocolate are Russia's favorite flavors. Yeah, because for real. we are back with mm -hmm. another nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Yep. Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakeiest wafer. <laughs> Clink. Clinkity clank. And, uh... Oh, it is a wafer. It looks like a cake. Mm. You don't need peanuts. You don't yeah. need peanuts in that. Peanut as a flavor is just, like, yeah. peanuts. Very overwhelming. It's nice though, it has like a little bit of crunch from the peanuts too, which is good. Yeah, texture wise, that's good. I do yeah. wish it was just crushed hazelnuts though. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. It's fine. I'd buy it. 
I, no, you know, I'll go meh, because I wouldn't buy this over the other chocolatey nutty wafer things that we've had, so. I would eat it if someone gifted it to me. Here, yeah. This one looks the most interesting out of all the things we got. Yeah. It is the orange marmalade and cinnamon prionic. Prionic. Um, it's a traditional. It's traditional gingerbread with candied orange jam. So it's like almost like those turnovers in a package that you get. Oh, David is brave and is splitting it. <laughs> And our floor is now crumbly. It's kind of just like a really, really thick ass Pop Tart. She's yeah. thick. This is, this is a Pop Tart with a couple extra C's on the end of it. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm hmm. I do not hate it as much as I thought I would. Mm hmm. I thought I was gonna hate it, but the orange and cinnamon is actually really, really good. And I, I think it's also because there's not. It's not really thickly piped in there. Yeah, it's just a little bit. And also, there's no chocolate. Mm. It's not orange and chocolate. Three, two, one. Yeah. No, this is great. This definitely falls into the category of like, really good gifts too. Cause this is so unique, you don't see anything like this. But I, I think it's just good too. I would eat this if it was at a like, spread for a continental breakfast. You have to be in Russia, so it'd be like an intercontinental breakfast. This particular box has a lot of sweet things in it, and we mm -hmm. are continuing that wonderful little train with the almond white chocolate bar. Why white chocolate, Russia? Because <laughs> it's good. It's not no. the best kind of chocolate but it's still good. It's not good. This is a decadent white chocolate bar with whole almonds. Cheers. I'm so tired of white chocolate. If you took a cookies and cream bar and you took a Hershey's almond bar and you took the worst parts from both of those and put them together. Don't listen to me, she's just a hater. Three, two, one. Yeah. Not my favorite thing, but it's just like a good example of it if you like it. I'm getting really bitter with the white chocolate, so it's probably a meh for me, but I'm gonna thumbs it down. Next up is the barbecue kebab potato crisps. This is a this has a fresh Russian barbecue flavor with no skewers needed. So if they're crisps, then like, are they not chips or are they? They're like, are they poofies? They're kind of poofy, but the main thing is though is that they smell like Taco Bell food. They smell exactly like Taco Bell food. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, sorry, Cheers. I almost ate it without you. Mm. That is a fucking Taco Bell chip. Taco Bell, you gotta get in business with these people. Yeah. I don't know the company name. Yeah, nobody does. Because it's in Russian. This is a Taco Bell chip. Yeah. Thoughts on the Taco Bell chips? Three, two, one. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know how, why that's called barbecue kebab flavor, but it's good, I like it. It's good, I'm gonna eat it. I don't know if I liked it as much as the cheese chips, but I'm still gonna eat that. These are strawberry caramel and vanilla gummies. This is a medley of sweet and chewy Russian candies. There's also something on here that like tells you to eat certain ones together. Mmm. I don't know, that looks hard, so we're just gonna try a couple. Alright, you ate so, one without me. No, I didn't. No. Strawberry. Mmm. So these are gummies. Yeah. You're mm. getting, I'm getting a lot of the vanilla. And some caramel. Even though this is the strawberry one. Yeah. But it's pretty good. Vanilla. vanilla. No, this just tastes like vanilla pudding that's no. not the right consistency. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, this is caramel. Yeah. They all vaguely taste the same. Mm-hmm. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of gummies anyway. I like gummies, but I, I really need them to be fruity gummies. 
And it is finally time for our last sweet of the box. These are orange and vanilla biscuits or cookies if you're Americans like us. Um, and they're from Janet's Bakery, what is it, World Kitchen? World Sweets. World Sweets. Wow, they are thin. Yeah. Oh These my gosh. These are the thinnest things ever. These are so thin. Okay, yeah, you ready? Cheers. I'm afraid we're gonna break it, okay. Whoa. It's that so, is so orange. It's so much orange. This would go well like crumbled over vanilla ice cream. I really wanted more vanilla. I'm with it. Plus it's just like a nice little wafery cookie. Texture wise it's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the right situation I would want that. I don't completely hate it. Alright, so. That is all 13 of our yum. So, what was your favorite yum of the box? Ooh, um, it was probably those cheddar chips. How about your worst yum of the box? Um, so I'm gonna say the mushroom. The Very mushroom nice. you say is your worst. Yeah. Okay. How about weirdest? Um, the Taco Bell chips. Yeah. Actually, about... no, 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 no. My weirdest act <laughs> would have to be the, um, pastry thing with the gingerbread and the orange. Mm. All right, and then our own category that we've added, uh, your most surprising yum. Yeah, that one was the barbecue chips for me. That was almost my weirdest, mm. um, but it's the most surprising because I really loved it. Yeah, like what What even is that? Yeah. Okay, what was your favorite yum? Uh, my favorite is probably the Taco Bell chips, actually. Those are, those are really, really good. What was your worst yum? My worst is, you know, I didn't even, I didn't actually rate it a thumbs down, but I've since changed my mind. Uh, the pear thing. I don't like, I didn't like the pear chocolate Oh, the chocolate? Much. Yeah, it, I mean, it's kind of between that and the gummies. Okay, what was your weirdest yum? My weirdest yum was probably the mushroom croutons. But that's just such a strange thing. It's like, so I've never weird. even heard of that, <laughs> but it's good. Okay, and then what were you most surprised by? Oof. It's gotta be the, it's gotta be the orange gingerbread. It's, oh, the pastry thing. That yeah. was my weirdest. Yeah. Yep. That was just shocking yeah. to me. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even think I'd like it and I loved it. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So overall, um, I don't know. What do you think of this box? I think this box was fantastic. It was I good. Mean, there was almost, I mean, there was one and a half things I thumbs down really. Yeah. It was just a great box. Russia, you make some awesome snacks. I think it was better than last month. Yeah. Um, I do wish I had some more savory in it though. And I don't, mm -hmm. when we started doing this subscription, you would never catch me saying that because I <laughs> love sweet things. Um, but I, I do wish there was a little bit more of a balance, but the snacks themselves were great. Yeah, they were really, really awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that though, uh, we really hope that you liked this video a lot. Yeah. So please make sure to leave a comment below. Tell us what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like. Give us a big old thumbs up. Yes, subscribe to our channel as well so that you can see this video and any other videos that we get. And other than that, have a wonderful existence. We'll see you guys next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.